Excel is a powerful tool just by virtue of uh, what it is. It's uh, basically used corporate wide. Um, I've, I've seen companies use Excel to manage $20 billion worth of capital uh, expenses. Uh, Excel is used everywhere and it, it's such a flexible tool that you can basically connect it to almost anything and get uh, what you need out of it. Uh, Excel is not going anywhere and I think it's, it's probably one of the, the most powerful tools in the office suite because it actually straddles uh, two areas. One is data and the other one is presentation. It can actually reach out uh, relatively easily to large data sets, external data where you have millions of lines of data and actually bring those in. And then the presentation side, it's got tools like pivot tables, slicers, and uh, charts, and uh, conditional formatting, visualization techniques that will allow you to kind of take that impossible amount of data and show it in a meaningful way. Some of the advantages of using Excel for dashboards and reports are obviously some of the tools that are built in, pivot tables, uh, power pivot, charts, visualizations. These things allow you to create dashboards faster than you would with kind of big ERP systems. Also, ease of distribution, right? Uh, Excel can be mail emailed out. It can be uh, posted on SharePoint services. It can be uh, kind of distributed out. And it's also in an environment and platform where uh, most people can kind of get to and are familiar with and ha are comfortable using. Most people don't realize this, but Excel and Access kind of work well together. They complement each other because they're essentially two sides of the same coin, and that coin being data reporting. And I've always said that an effective reporting mechanism actually has separate layers, a data layer, an analysis layer, and a presentation layer. Access serves as that data layer where you can kind of handle large amounts of data, crunch them, and aggregate them, and analyze them. And then Excel serves as a secondary analysis layer and also a uh, presentation layer. Most people think of those two products as two separate products. Some people will do database work in Excel, and some people will do presentation in Access. Those products work well on their own, but when you bring them together, their strengths, their individual strengths brought together kind of make for a more powerful, more robust tool. Excel power users are the prime candidates to use Access 2010. These are people that have kind of pushed the limits of Excel, they've got workarounds galore, and they've got workbooks and managing large complex processes that are really difficult to translate to anyone else. And so it's time for these people uh, to kind of reach past the one-dimensional spreadsheet world into kind of more of a, a database realm and allow Access and Excel to work together to make them more efficient and more productive.